It's February 15th, 2024. And this is a passage from Isaiah 14. It's Isaiah 14, 3. And I should say something about the work, which is, is that this is Christian art. I'm a Christian artist. However, I'm not, a, I'm not an orthodox or standard or modern or contemporary Christian at all. I, have, I don't have that much in common with uh, modern Christianity, with its art, with its politics, or, or anything else. But I do around the edges, as, as always. I, I'm in, you know, a one or two percentile of uh, unusual people that don't fit any particular uh, conformist church or belief system, uh, generalized or not. So, Many Christians, I'd say many, most Christians consider my work demonic or uh, demented or, de you know, what Hitler would have called degenerate art. <laughs> That's the irony, isn't it? That, see, Hitler and, and the contemporary Christians who consider what I do demented, you know, it's not Christian. I mean, Christians don't have this kind of vulgarity and, and uh, grotesqueness and, and you know, bizarre hybrid beings and all that, and we, we, you know, that's impure. Jesus is always in a, you know, he's white uh, uh, almost invariably, isn't he? And he's also has white sheep and he's got a white dove and he's got pure white robes. I've got a different Jesus in mind who has a sword coming out of his mouth and, and uh, you know, is, is coming on the clouds and glory and terror in the last judgment. And I, I, I was raised Catholic, and I've always believed that, but in a general sense. See that little insect that comes across the, the paper? This see him again? <laughs> it's hyperlapse, so he's like the roadrunner. And... Uh, I draw them into, this is funny, because my process, this is what I'm talking about. I, I'm, see, I draw the insect in there above that figure. My process is completely spontaneous. It's not me doing it. That's why I bring up the Christian part, because it's, it's serving the will of God, the Father. And uh, that's always been the case with my, my search for God. I saw... Uh, becoming an artist as, as a spiritual path and as a search for God. And very early on, I'm talking about high school and, and, and very specifically seeing myself as a reincarnation from a, of the Northern Renaissance painters in, in uh, Flanders and in, uh, what's now Holland. Brussels and, and you name it and, and there's a lot of those painters that continue to this day right but uh, James Ensor being the most notable from the last century whose work prophesied the first and second world wars and and Ensor lived through the uh, first and second world wars even though he was in 1886 or 87 or so is when he made his famous painting of the entry of Christ into Brussels. Uh, where, I, where, where did I? Uh, I just start. I just start reminiscing basically when I'm drawing. That's these are the kind of things that go through my head while I'm located daily in following the end times as I see them, the end times events happening with World War Three. that many people, most people, seem intent on thinking as, as some kind of passing fancy that's that's uh, will be solved in, in, <laughs> in the five-year plan or their 10-year investments. And... Uh, I don't know, you know. I'm. I'm not. That's why I say I'm not a prophet. I simply have. The, these are my visions. That's what artists do. That's. 
my understanding of artist role is to be a visionary to have visions not to have ideas not to think thoughts i don't think you know including duchamp i have none of these what what is this here's my idea put a toilet in the gallery put a bicycle tire or wheel in the gallery you know dress up and androgynously make a lot of puns these aren't really interesting ideas visually i hate to break it to the dotist, but the, the work is doesn't have any visionary content, which is why we look at art, or I do anyway. I look for the visionary reality in Egyptian, Persian, etc., etc., but in my case, Christian, because that's the tradition that I grew up in and believe in and belong to. Although I, you know, I refrain from, uh, you know, saying which re which religion is the the proper denomination because that gets into uh, areas that I'm not comfortable with because I don't consider myself God or I don't consider myself to have all the answers, and I'm pursuing them in in my work personally in in relationship to god and not to to human beings who uh, are not reliable in terms in my experience as sources of the truth and jesus christ for me is reliable as a source of truth and he, the way and the life and this is the life i'm I'm witnessing to and there's it's playful I mean you know I see I don't see art as, as a, it's painful to do but it, there's it has its benefits of play 